It's the end of June 2016 and uh, the British summer is doing its best to saturate our trees with water. Um, and so what I've done is I've come inside to, to work on this uh, really fantastic yew tree that was styled by uh, Shandor Pat from Hungary at Bonsai Europa 2015. Uh, as you can see, it's, um, it's got some really, really super dead wood. Uh, I've not actually treated it with, with any lime sulfur at the moment because um, I'm wanting it to do is I'm wanting to get a certain amount of weathering in, in, in itself. Um, it has actually been sandblasted to be, to be cleaned and I've actually done a little bit of work uh, in, in the middle here as well. But what I'm going to do today is I'm actually I'm going to work, uh, work on the canopy um, uh, and this again is a good time because a little earlier, uh, maybe two or three weeks ago, these were, these were actually drooping down. Uh, they weren't strong enough. Um, now that they're beginning to move upwards, it's a good time uh, uh, to do the pruning on this. And what I will be doing is, I will be pruning these back, but also uh, removing these inner needles so that the, the, the tree will bud back. Um, this is going to take me some time, so I'm going to save you the bother of watching me do this. But I'll do some filming halfway through and you can see how the progress is going. But for now, let's have a look at it in all its glory. You can see it's a really nice full canopy, very strong, very healthy. The tree has been given a good feed and um, it's perfect. Now is a good time to do it. So, let's start. So I'm three quarters of the way through working on this tree and you see I've cut them back to about four needles. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm before I pinch this back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it rest for a couple of weeks uh, for the ends to, to, to sort of seal up and I don't want to stress the tree too much. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working now around the back. You can see the long ones here compared to the short ones here and here. There are some of the weaker shoots on the inside that I haven't, uh, I haven't touched and what I will do is I'll cut those back in a, in a week or so's time, something like that, so that uh, Again, that we get a good overall balance on the tree, uh, but the tree's filling out nicely, um, and uh, I'll show it you when when I've finished. So the tree is now well on its way to filling out the canopy, and what I will try and do, of course, is maintain these different foliage pads and not just produce a big green triangle, which, which we so often see. Um, the angle that you're looking at now is, is what I consider to the front. You can see the nabari is really nice. You can see that a little bit of the green crosses over the front of the tree. Because if this deadwood wasn't here, this would be a rather straight, uh, straight trunk. But what you have is lots of interest. So let's take a closer look at, at that deadwood. As you can see, it's, uh, the tree is completely hollow uh, from top to bottom. Uh, and the deadwood is extremely hard. Uh, I like the fact that uh, there's a combination of, of smooth uh, deadwood, particularly at the top, uh, but also uh, the, oh, uh, sorry, the, the sort of cracked deadwood, which is, uh, which is in the middle. Um, and the deadwood, of course, comes all the way down to the bottom, as you can see here and here, and this flare here. But in particular, the, the whole tree in the middle it, it is, it is completely hollow. So let's see how the tree develops uh, over the next year or two and um, clearly this is a training pot, uh, it's quite a nice one but, it, but, it, but it's not really right for the tree, uh, we'll see how it, uh, how it moves in the next few years. <laughs> 